Hey guys, what's going on? Kelly here, and I have a Fear 3 review for you guys. This game is so fun. I mean, it has its issues. There were some quite some frame rate drops, but um, I've been playing the campaign for a good chunk of time today uh, with uh, Seamus, SSOH, PKC, whatever show. Well, I, I can't say a fucking name, whatever. Don't care. <laughs> And I, I was having tons of fun with it. And so I want to kind of explain how it goes. So you can do a co-op or you can play by yourself. If you do the co-op, uh, well, I mean, if you play by yourself, you, you still have two characters. But there's two main characters in the story. And um, if you play by yourself, obviously the, the one guy is going to be computer um, operated AI. Whatever. So I did co-op with Seamus. And so he hosted the game. And so he was the main guy, and the main guy, he, uh, he, you know, he fights with weapons. And I was the other guy. This guy's kind of like, he's like dead, or a ghost, or some motherfucking thing. I'm not completely familiar with the fear story, so whatever. But he has issues. He got shot in the face by his bro, who's the other guy. And so he has like magical power, psychic abilities kind of thing. And so what he does is he has magic that he can fight with, but he can also um, possess other characters. So, you know, as, as this character, I can't really speak on behalf of the other character. I haven't played as that guy yet. But from what I understand, he basically plays with guns, and that's about it. And, you know, he has special things he can do too, like in a, a robot transformer thing and boom, like completely laser shit up. But as the magic guy, it's really cool, and I really enjoy playing as that guy because... Uh, you can possess other players. So say I wanted to possess one of the enemies who had a gun I could possess him and start playing as him for a pretty good chunk of time So it's really really fun and, and I was having so much fun with this game very refreshing super fun to play Not too difficult. I mean there's times when it, it don't get me wrong. It can be a pain in the ass It can be a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Oh, and by the way, I am gonna be uploading the the co-op between uh, Seamus and I and we are both up uploading both of our, he'll upload on his channel, I'll upload on my channel. So it is going to be the same uh, talking, but since the characters are both so different, um, you could really check out both channels and get a completely different viewpoint. And it's pretty cool. That's what I like about this game. Uh, just because both characters are so different. And there are some scary uh, moments in the game. There was a moment where I did scream. Uh, because I was a little bit surprised, which is is rare for me. I usually just laugh when when things scare me, but I actually screamed this time. And the levels are interesting. There was a favela level. It was completely like favela. That that cracked me up. There was a get to the chopper moment. So if you like to get to the chop, I can't do the Arnold accent. I'm sorry. And what else? Uh, there was a suburb level. There was like a lot of levels that did remind me of the, <laughs> the last Call of Duty, uh, our Modern Warfare 2 campaign. But that's not a bad thing because I, I really like those uh, maps and levels, so no problems there. I enjoyed it. And a grocery store level, which was really, really interesting. Um, and there were like these weird dead guys and suicide bombers. It was really fun and interesting to play. And. Oh man, guys, you should check this game out. I mean, definitely check it out. I haven't played on um, any of the online multiplayer games yet. Uh, like I said, I did do online multiplayer. I mean, co-op counts as that, but I haven't played the actual multiplayer games online, and I can't wait to. I'm probably going to do that now, maybe um, upload a, a live commentary. Hopefully, uh, Seamus, his internet died because he got tornadoed or whatever and died. But hopefully he comes back to life and sends me the file so that I can start uploading our... Uh, the actual campaign because it's really fun and really interesting and just I had, I completely have fun playing it so if you don't have the money rent it if you can rent it uh, borrow it from a friend who gets it because this game is really fun and, and I, I've had pretty bad luck playing games so far but I'm really enjoying this one much more than Duke Nukem and I did enjoy playing Duke Nukem I thought it was refreshing but like with Brink I did not have fun at all and so it's nice to get a game that I feel I can enjoy as a shooter that isn't Call of Duty or Battlefield. And, and that's nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful feeling, I will tell you. So yeah, definitely pick this game up. And like I said, the only really downside I downside that I saw um, was frame, uh, frame rate issues. 
every once in a while. Like, if a bunch of enemies appeared, you kind of... It, it was an issue, but it would go away really quick, and, and it didn't happen too much. Um, but it did happen enough where it was definitely noticeable and definitely something that I should mention. And they might fix that, might not, who knows. Um, it does. it's not a deal breaker, it's not a game breaker by any means. And so yeah, pick up this game if you can. I'm telling you, I really am having fun with it and uh, can't wait to go play it after I'm done doing this commentary. So I uh, hope you guys have a good day. I'll try to get more Fear 3 up for you soon. And yeah. Oh, and by the, the Shadows of the Damned, my game didn't come today uh, because of whatever reason. It, delivery got delayed due to external factors. So who knows what those external factors are? Some dirty whore stole my game. Who knows? Um, but have a good day, guys.